good place? Shouldn't see all the way to the point. It's gonna take forever to chart this whole island. We don't even know if it is an island yet, Franz. You can see everything from here. Ernest, look! A ship! Hey, over here! Come back! Come back! There's no point, Franz. They can't hear you. Over here! Come back! Ernest, the signal fire. You gotta get back to it. The ship would be long gone. What's that? Just beyond the reef. It's probably an old barrel from our shipwreck. No, it's something else. Someone's floating in. And sharks. Chip? has a question to ask of you. Ask on. How can they call these a palm leaf and it doesn't look anything like a hand? <laughs> I don't know, darling. They just do, that's all. They grow by the ocean, right? Mm-hmm, that's right. Well, if it grows by the ocean, why don't they call it a sea dar? You know, by the sea. Oh, Marie, no wonder the boys run from your jokes. Oh, you're incorrigible, darling, and you're getting worse. <laughs> the boys are back. Hmm? Hope so soon. If someone with them. We found them floating on some barrels. You must have come from the ship. A ship? It didn't see us. Let's get him to the treehouse. August 13th, in the year of our Lord, 1801. This day, a visitor made his way to our shore, bringing with him knowledge which could well change the course of our lives. He's awake. How do you feel, son? No, no, calm down. My father. Where's my father? Where's my father? Was your father with you on the ship? No, he's here at the settlement. What's your name, son? Como. You, please tell my father I'm here. He's exhausted. Doesn't know where he is. Como, there's nobody here besides ourselves. But there are others. I saw it. King's head. 
King said. You must rest, Como. Yes, come on. Let him sleep. King's head. That mountain. With those peaks, it looks like a crown. Franz, you even called it the King's Head. I only gave it that name to identify it for our charts. But if it is the same mountain... That means there are other people here. No, no, no. Leave him. Let him sleep. We'll talk about it outside. But we have to go. If there is a settlement, wouldn't we have seen some sign of them by now? Yes! Or they would have seen our signal fire. Who knows how far away they are? We have to explore the King's Head, if there's any chance at all. Maybe they'll have a boat. It's likely they would. And if they did, we'd be as good as home. Now, calm down, just for a minute. We're getting a little ahead of ourselves. I'm sure we all have the same thing on our minds. This boy could be our salvation. On the other hand... On the other hand, he jumped ship on the strength of seeing a mountain with several peaks on it, which could be any mountain on any island anywhere. Well, that poor lad could be just as lost as we are. The point is, while we all have a thousand questions and a thousand hopes, we'd better wait until we hear Como's story when he wakes. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. I knew the captain wouldn't stop the ship. So while it was still dark, I tied together the casks and jumped into the water with them. You mean you sailed as cabin boy for two years looking for your island? Yes. I was at the mission school when I stopped hearing from my father. So I ran away, begging for jobs on ships. Now my search is ended. But, Como, we've never seen any sign of life up on King's Head. No, it's beyond King's Head. Beyond the Laughing Waters and Needle Pass, too. Laughing Waters? What is that, a stream? Rapids. Como, where did you learn these names? They're on the map. The map? You have a map of this island? My father sent it to me. One of his friends brought it. See? King said it's here. Then across the rapids, and the settlement is here. Beyond Needle Pass. This settlement, Como. How many people with your father? Just some of his friends. There was hunger in our land. Our old men told the story of an island where the sun did not scorch the earth, where always there was food. My father went in search of this place to lead our people there. Well, it seems we have an exploring trip ahead of us. May I come, Papa? And I? We should all go. Oh, even to climb King's Head is problem enough. We know nothing about the land beyond or any of its possible dangers. No, I, I'll go on the journey with Franz and with Como, of course. And Ernest, you stay here with your mother and Marie. Hmm? Aww. I have enough chores to keep me busy. I'll prepare some food for you. You can help me, little lady. Be there, Mr. Robinson. I know my father will be there. I would very much like to meet your father, Como. I hope we do find him. Hope? I will find my father, Mr. Robinson, and nothing will stand in my way. Good for you. destination sooner by going slower. Our new young friend, Como, had all his hopes and dreams on this expedition. 
It seemed impossible that a settlement did exist and actually had communication with the outside world. But his hopes and dreams had now become ours. This journey will provide answers about our future as well as his. Keep coming, son! Kick your feet in where I did! Don't look down! Well done, Franz. You're all right, we've got you. Yes. Quite a climb, eh? You're next, Como. He started. Well done, Como. You do it so easily. The worst is behind us. Well, in the climbing, at least. Standing on King's head itself. I've dreamed of this moment. Shouldn't we be able to see the rapids from here? Yes. We better take another look at that map of yours, Como. I'll get it. They must be here. The Laughing Waters. It must be here. Franz, run on ahead and see what you can see. I don't understand. We are on King's Head, are we not? Well, Como, we're on our King's Head. You are saying this could be the wrong island? Father, father, over here! Water, the rapids. It's got to be the rapids. The laughing water. Prettiest sound I've ever heard. think this is his father's island, do you? I'm not sure, Franz, just what to think. But each point on his map held true. The king's head, the laughing waters. But we're all agreed that almost any series of peaks could look like a crown or king's head. Would any rapids not sound like laughing water if that's what you wanted them to sound like? For that lad's sake, I pray this is the island. For three days, we trekked overland through some of the most dangerous terrain the island could offer. Como's knowledge of the bush was nothing short of uncanny. It was as if he could sense a tempo to the land. Finally, the last leg of our journey. A series of falls was shown on the map to be the gateway to his father's settlement. According to the map, we had only to descend the falls and then a short distance further inland, we would find Needle Pass. That would lead to the settlement, for Como, reunion with his father. For us, once again, a hope to see our beloved home in Switzerland.
Boys, look. Not here. Seems to go on forever and ever. Only the jungle. Perhaps it is as you say, Mr. Robinson. Many islands looking alike. What have we here? A boy who sailed the seas in search of his father for years, now ready to give up? Oh, I was skeptical. I, the king's head, coincidence. Laughing waters, coincidence. But the falls, too? Every step of our journey, exactly as your father described it, very near down to the last stalk of bamboo. No, I refuse to accept so many coincidences. Father! Look. An axe mark. Another one. It's here. Como, it's here. Needle Pass. Except it isn't a pass. These blaze marks indicate a trail. And it isn't narrow, as we might have suspected from its name, but straight. Then my father's settlement? Is there. Straight down there. quite a while. Something forced these people to leave in a hurry. Where would they have gone? That appears to be a mystery. Father's knife. He went to nowhere without it. Franz, would you light your torch and bring it here? What is it? It's a burial tomb. I hope and pray this is not where he finds his father. Oh, 
oblata. The sign of oblata. Oblata was my father's friend. This marking cannot be read. But it is not my father. This is not my father. My father is not here. Somebody buried these men, and it must have been my father. I'm sure your search is not ended. Someday I know you'll find your father. Don, I still think it's too dangerous. Well, how are we going to stop him? Tie him to a tree? But he's only a boy. Let me tell you, my dear wife, there is one very resourceful young man, quite capable of surviving on his own. Now, we're strangers to this kind of land, but for him, the mountains, the jungle, even these islands are just like home. I think that he may be very worried about leaving us here alone. <laughs> well, Como. At least you're well supplied. Are you sure you won't stay with us? I must search for my father, as you would. You know, Como, you have a place to return to. If you get tired or lonely. You have a place here with us. Thank you, Mrs. Robinson. I will be back. You've all been so kind. this land we now call home. Something happened at that settlement that caused grown men to flee. There existed dangers they were not able to overcome, dangers that we may one day have to face. We can only face each day as it may come and hope for the best.